Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and I have come with the mystery solved. The mystery on the new group of bees that showed up in our garden, found that pile of wood, that is firewood that we didn't use, and they have now made a home there. Well, let me tell you what they are. You're going to be surprised because, well, we were surprised. They're a bee that normally, if you try to look them up, such as, let's say, carpenter bees of California, they will not show you this bee. I don't know why, yet they are in California. And that has been part of the issue, looking up carpenter bees of California. They do come up in Texas, but yet if you do research, which I have done far more research to find out that they are not just in Texas, they are throughout the United States. Now, back in 1955, a book was written on carpenter bees, the carpenter bees of California. And in that book, one little tiny paragraph was devoted to this particular bee. So there it said in the book that their range was in Texas and Mexico, but yet they had been spotted in California. So he did put one little paragraph in his book. Over the years, there's been a few spottings, but not that many people getting photographs. They're very fast. They zip around. They're sometimes hard to photograph. Believe you me, I've been chasing these bees around for the past week. <gasps> he pooped. Did you see that? No, I didn't. He squirted. But I finally managed to get some pretty good videos and some pretty good photographs, considering this bee is so quick. Even when it lands on a flower, it is fluttering around and moving so quickly that it's hard to get a good photo. The Latin name, I'm going to put the Latin name so you'll know exactly what they are. Though you'll still find this bee if you look the carpenter bees up of Texas, is in California, throughout the United States, it is a carpenter bee. The common name for this carpenter bee is horsefly-like carpenter bee. That is their common name. You might find another name once in a while, blue-eyed carpenter bee. That's because a few people in the past or someone in the past saw them Notice that their eyes are blue, and you saw the photo that I took. They're kind of a bluish gray. And so the, some people were calling them blue-eyed carpenter bee. But their real name, as far as their common name, is the horsefly-like carpenter bee. Now, once you know their exact Latin name, as well as their common name, they're easy to find on the internet. Without the name, for some reason, they don't go by description, so they're hard to locate and find. The few research articles you'll find on them, basically by individual people that had them in their yard, they're quite happy with them. They enjoy them, they are non-aggressive, they pollinate in the garden, and they tend to look for old rotting wood. So there isn't too many problems as far as some of the other carpenter bees that can create habit. Other people have said they're very hard to photograph, and boy, I can relate to that. Though they called them solitary bees, that's the only thing that throws us here because they are living here in a community. There is one bee that guards the long log in which a whole bunch of them are living in, and I have sat there and watched them come in, in quite a few numbers, and they seem to take care of one another which is very interesting. They will go off and forage together in one plant. You'll see three at the same time or more working together. That is the only thing that kind of throws me. Though they may be territorial when it comes to their behavior as far as their nesting site, keeping other bees away, they don't seem to mind people walking back and forth, though they will come up and check you out. I've seen some articles where people have referred to them as being cute sporting pretty blue eyes, as somebody wrote, and those beautiful stripes on their abdomen. So people with gardens absolutely enjoy them because of what they're doing. They are pollinating our plants. We are very happy to have them. Gary is going to make sure he sets up more logs for them since they haven't bothered anything around the house and they're only looking, the ones here, for very soft wood. And hopefully they'll stick around. I don't know when they came here, but we have never noticed them before. The only ones we have had are the black ones. This is new here, and you can look it up, and they'll tell you that there's two or three species of carpenter bees in California that are black. But for some reason, 
they seem to get neglected as far as showing that these are here too. And they are throughout the United States, so you may find them too. Now that you've seen them, you may find them around your yard and you'll spot them and you'll go, oh, I know what they are. Those are the horsefly-like carpenter bees. And I saw them, photographs and videos, on Robbie and Gary's Gardening Easy channel because they had them and it was driving them crazy to find out what they were. And now that they found out what they were, well, now we know what they are too. So I hope I've given you some information on these bees. We do happen to enjoy them. We love all our bees, as long as I don't get stung. The only bee that's ever stung me here is a honeybee. Got stung a few years ago, and it was my fault. I reached into the bushes. I didn't see it. It stung me, and you know what? I didn't even know I got stung. Something got on my finger, and then I looked, and Gary took the stinger out. And, well, that was the first time I was ever stung by a bee. But they have not been any threat. They've been fun to watch, and I just love how they work together as a community, and that's baffling because there is nothing like that anywhere on the internet. So hopefully they'll keep that trait because it's fun. And I've given you some information that we were determined to find out and I have spent hours on the computer looking and finally stumbled into the right photo that matched my photos. And then from there, well, started to unwind everything and find out exactly what they were. With that, I hope I've given you something you can use, something you'll be aware of. Keep an eye out for them. And know that, well, at least ours are gentle. I hope yours will be too. Gentle giants. With that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.